Uh, in this tutorial, we will actually talk about uh, how uh, you can uh, enter payroll in Eula. Now, Eula is not a payroll software, so you will not be doing payroll in Eula. But obviously, you know, payroll is an expense to your business, and you can express that in Eula. Now, how we, we for this example, I'm going to use this uh, CRA's uh, payroll deduction online uh, software. So I'm going to do a begin and say, you know, ABC company and say John Smith. You can select the province. Uh, I'm going to make it Ontario so that it's easy. <clears throat> I say let's do a weekly period and we can select, uh, you know, uh, the starting period. You can go next. Then I'm going to assume, say, it's a $500 uh, weekly uh, pay. You can do next and you can do a calculate and this will summarize for you what uh, you know the, the the taxes are for the employee what's the CPP deduction and what's the EI for the employee so now how do we enter these amounts in EULA and what does EULA do with them so to do that you will go on the accounts panel you'll click on action payroll then you will click on payroll clearing and it's an in-house payroll clearing so you'll click that now First and foremost thing is you need to choose your uh, employee. Now uh, I'll show you later how you can actually rename this employee. So let's say you know that's your employee number one, okay? Uh, and you can enter the amount. We said five hundred dollars, okay? The next was uh, CPP uh, total taxes was fifty five oh seven. So you can enter that here. That's 55.07. So that's the taxes that you've withheld from the pay. Then, uh, you know, uh, you can put the CPP calculation for the employee. Okay, um, it's 2140, 21.47, I think. 42. Okay, so we can. 21.42 is the CPP. The EI is uh, nine dollars and forty cents. As soon as you enter that, it will subtract all and show you how much is the net clearing. Now there are two choices here. You can either pay the employee right away. So in that case, you will choose the bank and the check and the check number, and you will say select, and it will ask you for the submit. You can also choose pay later, which means you'll have to clear the pay later. Okay, so I'll, I'll walk through both the examples. So let's say we now submit. Okay, now immediately it will bring you to the employer contribution. Now for the employer contribution here, you can again uh, click on this summary and that will show you the employer contribution. So that's 2142 for CBP and 1316 for EI. So 1316 and 2142. You can also enter other employee contributions, like for example, this uh, group benefits or EHD or WCD. Then you'll say yes, and you'll do a submit. Now, let me again walk through the same example, say for the same person uh, at a, that saves a pay later. So you'll click on action, payroll, payroll clearing, pay later, choose again the employee say employee one uh, or let's just say choose employee number two uh, again go back here i'm going to go to the previous page uh, 5507 500 dollars 55.07 and uh, 21.42 940. Now it's pay later, so you click on submit and do submit to bring you back to <coughs> the employer contribution. And go here, we can say employer remittance summary 2142 and 1316. 2142 and 1316, accept and do a submit. Now, for the second time, the clearance for uh, 
the employee one, we said we'll pay later. So whenever that time is there to pay him, you can go back here and say payroll and then say salary payable. Notice that it will immediately allow you to choose whoever it is. This time I said salary employee two was that's the amount that you need to clear. So you can select that. <clears throat> And then you can either choose and choose bank or cash, whatever you're going to choose, and you can say that's the mode of payment, and you can do a submit. So that way, you basically clear the employee salary uh, whenever the day of the pay is. So the first part is entering the pay date, and then the second part is clearing. If you're going to do both at the same time, you can just clear it right away. Uh, now the third part is how you clear taxes, all the remittance that you actually collected. Now for that, you will click again on action, go to payroll, and you'll click taxes payable and sum up all the taxes that you owe that you've collected so far then method of payment is obviously bank and you can say my check number is that and that's the check that you're going to write to the government sums up the whole amount and you can do a submit. So to summarize, in payroll, you can do an immediate pay or a pay later. The next step would be if it's a pay later, you can clear the salary for that person whenever you know, you're going to pay that person. And the last one is how you'll clear your taxes.